the fourth largest planet in the solar system and the smallest of the gas giants. Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. More than 30 times as far from the Sun as Earth. A distance of 2.8 billion miles. At that much distance, light from the Sun takes about 4 hours to reach Neptune. And that light is 900 times as dim as sunlight on Earth. Neptune is very similar to Uranus. It's made of a thick soup of water, ammonia, and methane over an Earth-sized solid center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The methane gives Neptune the same blue color as Uranus. The diameter of Neptune is approximately 49,500 kilometers. This makes Neptune the fourth largest planet in the solar system. And compared to Earth, Neptune is four times bigger. If Earth were the size of a nickel, Neptune would be about as big as a baseball. If we look at the mass, the mass of Neptune is 1.02 into 10 raised to 26 kilograms or 102 trillion trillion kilograms. Neptune has 17 times as much mass compared to the Earth. The rock, ices, and gas that make up the icy giant fill a volume of 15 trillion cubic miles. You could fit 57 Earths inside Neptune and still have room to spare. Its dense core is about 1.5 times the size of Earth with twice its pressure. More than 30 times as far from the Sun as Earth, Neptune is the only planet in our solar system not visible to the naked eye. And the first predicted by mathematics before its discovery. In 2011, Neptune completed its first 165-year orbit since its discovery in 1846. Sometimes Neptune is even farther from the Sun than dwarf planet Pluto. Pluto's highly eccentric, oval-shaped orbit brings it inside Neptune's orbit for a 20-year period every 248 Earth years. The switch, in which Pluto is closer to the Sun than Neptune, happened most recently from 1979 to 1999. Pluto can never crash into Neptune, though, because for every three laps Neptune takes around the Sun, Pluto makes two. This repeating pattern prevents close approaches of the two bodies. The average temperature on Neptune is about minus 200 degrees Celsius, which means that an unprotected human being would freeze in a second. Neptune also has 14 known moons, the largest is called Triton, and it is the seventh largest known moon of any planet, also being the only one in the solar system that orbits in opposition to the planet rotation. This means that it is a captured object by Neptune gravity. Due to its size it is even believed it is a captured dwarf planet. Neptune is our solar system's windiest world. Despite its great distance and low energy input from the Sun, Neptune's winds can be three times stronger than Jupiter's and nine times stronger than Earth's. These winds whip clouds of frozen methane across the planet at speeds of more than 1,200 miles per hour. Even Earth's most powerful winds hit only about 250 miles per hour. Neptune also boosts a powerful magnetic field, which is 27 times stronger than Earth. A day on Earth is 24 hours, but a day on Neptune is 16 hours and 6 minutes. A year on Earth is, one year obviously, while a year on Neptune is 165 years. Neptune has four seasons, of course, just like Earth. Each of its hemispheres have a cold winter and a warm summer. Fall and spring would be transitions as they are on Earth. Unlike here on Earth, where each of our four seasons lasts three months, and it takes one year to travel around the Sun, the seasons out there on Neptune last for decades and decades. That far away planet takes almost 165 years to orbit the Sun, so one season lasts more than 40 years. The surface gravity on Neptune is 17% stronger than the pull of gravity on Earth. You would have a difficult time noticing if you were standing on the surface of Neptune compared to the surface of Earth. There is only one spacecraft that have visited Neptune. NASA's Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited Neptune up close. It flew past in 1989 on its way out of the solar system.